Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Natisha and we are going to do another Seeking the Kingdom of God goals for the month of October. Alrighty, so we're in the month of October. This year is almost to a close. Um, I did not do a Seeking um, the Kingdom of God goals for September. Um, it just didn't work out and a lot of factors played into that and I was going through a lot and there was definitely a, also a lot of emotional drainage and um, distractions. Nonetheless, we're here for October. We're here for October. Let's get into um, a little bit of a recap from our goals. And then I'm actually going to show you some additional um, items that I got to increase my walk with the kingdom of God. Um, and then I'll go into the goals that I have set for this month. So we're in October. Um, if you did not know, fun fact, in the Jew Jewish um, culture... October is for their fall festivals. Um, we have a lot coming up in this month. I do suggest, um, if you don't know anything about them, to kind of study a little bit about them. Um, I think on the eve of October the 2nd begins the Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah. I don't know if I'm saying it right, um, but it is the Feast of Trumpets. And I think it's three days, and um, and it starts on the second, the eve of the second, I believe. And I think it's, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's the marker of the new year, too. And then we have the Festival of Atonement, and we have, I, and I don't know if that's Yom Kippur at the same time, or those two different things. Nonetheless, there's a lot of Jewish fall festivals that fall in October, and if you don't know, um... When Jesus was here the first time, he fulfilled all the spring festivals. So he has been said to fill the fall festivals. We just don't know what year, when, the time, the hour. But it is good to be knowledgeable of these festivals in this season, especially when you can tell things are in disarray and prophecies pretty much are being filled left and right. So that's my spiel on that. You guys like my shirt that says Team Jesus. I wore this at one of my son's football games. I'm like to, trying to be intentional on being a billboard for wearing um, Christian content as I'm at the games just to spark somebody's like thought process. And it also says like John... 316 and and then at the end of that it says lifetime member so and then people take pictures and then you know people could see that team jesus is on the radar so that being said quick recap i didn't um post anything in september again i explained why life was life in um and i've expressed on a lot of my community pages prayer for me and my family um, going through things in life is emotionally draining, and I allowed it to be a full distraction um, in August, plus kids going back to school, and it just drained me. I felt drained in September, and I felt drained during the time in September, so it just was a lot, and yeah. So the enemy is out to distract you from doing the things God wants you to do or doing anything that is building up the kingdom of God. Nonetheless, um, I, I still read the Bible. There was days, a lot more days in August that I did not. Um, I will show y'all that when I do my flip through of my notebook, but I still read, I still prayed, I still fasted, um, still went to church, still read my, um, additional books outside of the Bible, um, didn't study, I don't think I studied 
I'm gonna study once, twice, twice, study twice. So that's no okay. good. And this is, I'm sorry, I'm talking for all, I think I'm talking, yeah, for August and September combined. I didn't study that much, which is still no good. No explanation, no excuses. Um, and yeah, so, but I will say in uh, September when I started to get my, my push back, cause I, that didn't even really have no, no push and drive to videotape. I had a hard time just getting myself to videotape anything. Like I video, I had to push myself to record the winners for my Bible giveaway. Like I literally pushed myself like, girl, you cannot have these people waiting for their Bible for a very long time. Like, so I, I pushed to get those, that video out, but yeah, I had a hard time like even coming back on here to do a video. So yes. And it also does play a factor in kids being back at school, solo parenting, doing all the things typically by myself. So nonetheless, um, so that's kind of a combined recap between August and September. Not much different, just a little bit, still kind of did the same things. I just, um, had a lot of days of too many for me, like one or two days is too many for me. You know what? It was one day or one time frame. I did not read the Bible two days in a row. And I kid you not felt like I was, um, in a spiritual, like, like I was so thirsty and so hungry and ready to run to my Bible on that third day. Like I felt like, like, I don't, it's a, I can't even describe the feeling, but the feeling I had on that third day, I was like, man, I got to get in this Bible. And I'm at the point where like, I cannot, I, maybe a day, two, but after two, no, I can't go more than that. Like I was spiritually dehydrated. I was spiritually uh, a desert and I was running, running to get into my Bible, running to read because I don't know. It, it was a feeling that I couldn't even describe. And I think that was in, it was either in August or it was in September, but I cannot describe that feeling, but it was a feeling like, oh my God, I feel like you, I was in the Sahara desert and I've been there for a couple of days and I saw the mirage of a, like, you know, you see the mirage of water, but it was just like, I needed my Bible. I needed to get into my work. And once I read it, I was like, I felt so good. So never, I've never had that feeling before, but I look back on it like, okay, I need this spiritual food every day. And I hate when I go days with like, it's just, I don't intentionally do that. Sometimes I'm, I push it towards the end of the day. And then at the end of the day, I'm tired and I get in there like, like, eat coma tiredness where I lay down and I'm knocked out and it's it's over I'm done you know so <sighs> all right so even though I was kind of in my um in the month of August and September I still wanted to invest into my spiritual walk with Christ and when I mean invest I mean I bought some more study tools to increase my walk with Christ. Study tools, books, all the things. Um, I even got in some fictional books because um, fiction books and just reading books um, because I want, I don't, I don't watch a whole lot of TV. I watch a lot of YouTube, but I want to kind of get off of YouTube kind of like that. And I just want to get in books and I want to read. So I'm trying to increase my extracurricular activity of reading, but I don't want to step out of the realm of um, Christian books and Christian content. So that being said, I, I apologize in advance. This video might be a little long. I'm making up for two months. So hopefully... You have grace and you bear with me. So I'm going to show you my fiction books. I think, I don't know if this first one is a fiction book, but um, I'm going to show you my fiction books first and then I'm going to show you the books that I specifically got 
to aid in increasing my walker Christ. And I wish that I could read every one of these books now, like all of them. And I still have books, we ain't even gonna talk about that, that are waiting to be read that I already have. Um, so sit back and let's get into this. So the first book I got is called Christian Girl. And it is a gospel vision to encourage and challenge black Christian women. This is written by Dr. Sarita Lyons. And I was introduced to her from... She was on Megan Alex Ashley's YouTube channel, but she was also on the Perry's YouTube channel. I think I saw her on Megan Ashley's first and then the Perry's. So I saw her twice, but I was intrigued. She um, is a Christian author wife, mother. She has a lot of um, scholarly accolades and she's a psychologist, I believe. Yes, for, forensic psychologist. So she has a, two doctor degrees. I'm sorry, correction, clinical and forensic. This is a picture of her. But if you want to get a little bit more information, go to the YouTube channels. She was on the Perry's she, and she was on... Um, Megan Ashley's channel and she was on Lecrae's channel, I believe. And she's pretty, she's like, um, to me, I feel like she's kind of like a female, a little bit, a little bit of a female version of Paul Washer where she's pretty just straightforward with the word, the gospel. You could tell she has a listening ear. She's going to listen to you while you, you talk. But as she's listening, she's figuring out her response to what you're saying. But if you know who Paul Washer is, he's a pastor. He's pretty straightforward. He's not going to sugarcoat anything. He always, to me, looks like he's about to cry when he's preaching because he feels the pain and the the sin of this world and, like, the lack thereof in regards to, you know, all the things against God. So, but she, you don't, that's not the same with her. But in regards, she's very straightforward, no sugarcoating gonna give it to you so I'm interested in reading her book um so that was one of the books that I bought and then um and I got all of these every resource on here except for probably one thing is from Amazon <clears throat> it was on my wish list and then it just kind of moved over to that cart and then that button got pushed and boom it was in route to me so this next book um is from a Christian author also her name is Sharon Gorla Brown. I don't know much about her, but I know she has like uh, maybe four or five other books. Most, of, I think they're on my wish list too, but I was intrigued with this book. Um, it's Feathers of Hope. Um, it's a novel. And uh, what, what, uh, it's in regards to hope um, in the season of change. Da, 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 da. So, um, she has a scripture on the top of here from Second Corinthians four eighteen. We fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. And then also outside of this, there's a red cardinal on here, and this red cardinal means a lot to me for a plethora of reasons. But I always see. I always um, see this red cardinal at certain times in my life, and it always flies literally right in front of me, whether I'm walking my dog, walking to my doorstep, driving. It could be I was driving in a different city and saw one um, driving in different parts of my own city, and I see it, and it literally drives right in front of me and lands on a tree, and... It's just real significant to me. So I felt drawn to this book. Okay. My next book is called Cherish. It's also a novel. And this is written by Kim Cash Tate. Um, she also She's a Christian author. And she also has a channel on YouTube. She's kind of like an OG Christian content creator. Um, her husband is the president of... Um, 
LSU, Louisiana State University. So that's where they're at right now. She has a bunch of books out. I think she just came out with a series of books. Um, I think it's a three-part series. But <clears throat> I am, or maybe this is part of, I don't know. She's got a bunch of books out there on my wish list. But this is one that I gravitated to. This is called Cherished. And... I, saw, I think I heard some. I had this on my wish list, but I think I heard somebody talk about this and um, it just drew me in. So we'll see how that goes. And I think that's all of my, just my reading books. I thought I had four. It's just three. My bad. Ooh. So that was the reading books that I got. So now let's get into the resources that I have um, brought to help me in my seeking the kingdom of God, to help me in my walk with faith in the Lord, to help me to be a good steward over the spiritual gifts God's given me, to help me to be able to help somebody else. I have a lot, so I'm going to go real quick because I don't want the focus to be on this because it's not a haul. It's on my goals for this month. <laughs> so I'm going to go really, really fast. Okay. So this book is by R.C. Sproul. It's called Essential Truths of the, of the Christian Faith. Um, I don't want to go into detail, but it's going to just give you every aspect of what you need to know about the Christian faith. So revelation, nature, attributes of God, the works and decrees of God. Um, I'm reading the index. Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, human beings in the fall, salvation, church, and sacraments. So I'm excited about this. It's pretty thick. Yes, I have a sticky on it because I was looking at salvation. Okay, so the next book resource um, that I have, Bible resource, is... Um, I actually think this is a fiction book. I didn't think that it was when I got it um, from Amazon, but this is called... A Watchman Prayer, and it's by Dutch Sheets, who is um, a Christian author. I believe it's a Christian author, but it's on Watchman Prayer. I, I protecting your family, home, community from the evil, the enemy schemes. So we'll see how um, this goes. Then I got another book by R. C. Sproul. Can you tell? Like R.C. Sproul. It's very straightforward too. And this one is called An Introduction to Apologetics, Defending Your Faith. I've been looking at a whole bunch of apologetics books and this one is one that I end up getting <clears throat> amongst the, the one that I already have. Then I have this book. It is called The Pursuit of God by A.W. Towser. Um, I think this is a upgraded cover, but it also comes with a study guide to read with it. It is a pretty thin uh, book, so it shouldn't take um, too long to read. But that is The Pursuit of God. Alright, so my next book is another one from R.C. Sproul. And this one is called The Last Days According to Jesus. When did Jesus say he would return? And I feel like I might not have enough time to read this. I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> so this is teachings in the last days. This next book was influenced by um, another YouTuber. Actually, two. The first one was um, at first. I was influenced by Alexis Ashley. She's a YouTuber here um, that does Christian content. I'm pretty sure you guys know who she is. And then um, Ashley, Megan Ashley, also another YouTuber, um, big influencer. She talked about this book for a long time too. So naturally I went and got it. And that's The Made of Satan. I, this is the book. And this is the study guide to go with it. So... Um, the author is John Bevere. Um, he's a minister and he also has a YouTube channel of his own and then one with his wife. And I think he does one with 
another gentleman. I don't know if that's a relative, but definitely was heavily influenced to get these um, two items. And I think I saw another YouTuber talk about the study guide. I didn't know it was a study guide to go with it. I think it was, I can't remember what her YouTube name is, but she does a lot of study. Um, study guide, book reading, study guide content. I think her name is Shark. I'll leave her information below. I think it's Shark Keisha. I don't want to butcher it. I'm sorry. Then this next book was influenced by another YouTuber. And her name is, um, she, her channel is called Bloom Biblically. And she was by Char and Charlene. And, um, she showed this book. It's called Praying Through the Bible for Your Kids. It's a uh, one the one of the one year books where they have something per day out of the whole year, and so I got this because of course prayers for your children, like that's what we're called to do, and every day every day it has like the the dates, and it has like a devotional section, a reading, scripture reading, um, uh scriptures to read and then devotional and then down here it has a prompted um not on this page that one doesn't bad example but this one does has a prompted um prayer so i'll take the prayer because so far the prayers have been really really good and i will write the prayer in my prayer binder either i'll write it for my, my two boys collectively, or I'll write it one for each of them separately because I have a section for each boy that I'll pray for. So I have been, this prayer binder has been getting some mileage in the past couple of weeks and I love it. But, okay. So the next resource I got from uh, Amazon. This book is from Paul Washer. He's a minister. Um, he's very cut. Like he just don't. He doesn't sugarcoat anything. He's very direct. He's it's a good one to listen to. But he has a book. He has a couple books on Amazon. It's a really really small quick read. And this one is on um, specifically the Gospel of Jesus Christ. <coughs> and so this is just to help you with sharing it. It's easy to kind of like know it in your head, but to help you with sharing it with other people and in case they kind of like ask you additional questions. So I got this. This next book is another book um, influenced by Alexis Ashley. And this is the, this is a resource for when I'm Bible studying or when I'm sharing information here on YouTube. And it is who's who in the Bible. Everybody's name is in this thick book. So just in case you know you know the name, but you don't know where it's at in the Bible, just look it up in here. It will give you that information and more. So Alexis Ashley influence, um, influenced me with this one too. <laughs> so my next resource, I'm very intrigued with <sighs> apologetics, and I'm also intrigued with... Um, knowing information about each denomination um just so they could if i'm ever encountered with somebody of a different denomination or religion i can one know the information the background of that that religion or denomination but two be able to reel them in to why um following after christ in a certain way is the best way to get to know him in the only way, of course, we know Jesus is the only way to eternal life, to heaven, to God. But anyways, I said to say, I want to, I want to increase my wisdom on denominations. So I got this book called The Complete Guide to Christian Denominations, Understanding the History, Beliefs, and Differences. So it has pretty much every Christian denomination um, in here. I do want one with other religions. I want to have that information also um for the apologetics like that's coming out of me but i got this book it's really super big 
I have breezed through this. I have looked for my um, denomination in here and the beliefs. So I, I think this is a good resource to have, to be perfectly honest. Because some people don't know the difference between um, the different aspects of Christianity. Because there's so many. Um, so many denominations. I would... I grew up in one, I'm under one, but honestly, like I'm, I'm a follower of Christ. So anyways, the next resource that I have, um, I'm definitely 100% intrigued with this, this topic, especially in the time and season that we're in right now. I got to know, I want to know. And so I got this book. This is the only book that I got from christianbookstore.com. The shipping is a little slower and I would prefer to go with them because they do, you know, specialize in Christian stuff, but sometimes with Amazon, you can get stuff in two to three days and it's like, mm, not that I'm impatient, but sometimes you just want your stuff when you want it. But anyways, this is an eight week Bible study. I didn't know it was a Bible study when I got this. I thought it was just a resource book on the topic of the seven feasts. It's the seven feasts, finding Christ in the sacred celebrations of the Old Testament it's a quick study and I want to know it all, put it that way. But the big thing that I wanted to study is the trumpets, um, Feast of the Trumpets. And that's like one of the like six weeks into this study. So I'm like, man, I got to go through all this study to get to where I really want to go, where I really want to go now. But uh, yeah, so I got this baby. Ow. Up and in. All right, so this next resource is called Rose Guide to Discipleship. Um, it is literally like a it's a textbook. I didn't know it was a textbook textbook when I got it, but I have it. I got it specifically because I'm under the understanding that, of course, yes, I have to disciple my kids. Those are my first disciples. But eventually there's this repetitiveness of having to disciple somebody. That's just how it, it's supposed to go. I mean, y'all, y'all seen the movie Forge, you know, you know. But it's actually like it's a, a actual lesson, like book for like teaching their class or something. So I'm just going to be teaching myself about discipleship. Um, I'm just, it's got lesson plans. It's a study guide, but in it's like, not study guide, but a, what are they called? Uh, Bible study, sorry. Bible study on um, discipleship. So it's it's a pretty decent size. Um, I don't know if it's broken down the weeks, but it's definitely, it's definitely a study guide, like, like you're in a classroom. So it's got like, and it says 30 topics for spiritual growth. And it has five chapters. They're broken down to believing in the gospel. Oh, sorry. Believing in the gospel. Chapter two is becoming a disciple. Chapter three, the basics that guide a disciple. Um, chapter four, 12 things that mark a disciple. And chapter five, 10 spiritual disciplines that shape a disciple. So I'm really intrigued with this because we're all called to disciple. Christians, you're called to help somebody else in their walk with Christ. And the last resource that we're adding to my resources, um, this one is, um, before I get into this one, yeah, another thing that I'm intrigued with is Watchmen Prayer. Hours in the Watchmen um, specifics and breakdown. So this is another book. I, I really need to read the specifics of books when I'm picking them because I thought this was a book but this is actually a manual study guide bible study guide and this is um, called the watchman and gatekeeper and it's by Deborah Wiggins she's a Christian content creator in a sense of like books and study guides um especially on watchman stuff so it just Goes on the Ministry of Intercessory Study, Bible Study. So I'm going to be busy if I get my butt and all this stuff. Like, I'm going to be busy because I already have enough of what it is. But these are things that are pulling me in right now. And they are taking precedence 
all the stuff I already have because again the seasons and time so that is all my new resources that I have added to my Bible study kingdom of God in um, learning process let's get into my goals for this month and then I will be off of here um, my goals this month are pretty simple um continue to do my daily reading i'm currently in the book of jeremiah um i just got out of isaiah i had to slow down in isaiah there was no reading uh five to ten chapters a day in regards to reading and writing my observation isaiah I have to pay attention of what prophecy he's talking about, what time and era. So <coughs> excuse me. So I slowed down with Isaiah and I feel like the pace for Jeremiah is pretty slow too. So I'm currently in the book of Jeremiah. You'll see my flip through of my progress, uh, my next video. Um I have one more excuse me one more chapter of the body walking book i i was so close to just being on a good pace of reading this one more chapter of this and then i will be done um plus i have a mock sermon in the back so we can kind of say maybe two but it's it's one more chapter chapter nine and then the mock sermon um i do like this book and i probably will get my thoughts about it after i get done reading but i do like this book then when that is done, I've showed this before, but I am going to be jumping into um, Delighting in the Trinity, an introduction to Christian faith. This is the next book on my stack to get into. Um, I'm still moving along my prayer book. Um, not fast, but I am still moving along. The next video for this is to come up soon. I think I just did one. So moving along this. This is still, this is still here. She still want to be seen, I guess. Um, I have not picked this up much. Um, the devotional with Jackie Hill Perry upon awakening. But when I do pick it up, I do like what I read. So I don't have no really like pace in regards to like, I have to pick this up today uh, or each day, but it is um, a 60 day devotional. But I'm still going through this. When I do go through the next day, I'm, I am um, happy of what I read. So, still going through this. I have actually started reading my chronological uh, one-year Bible. This is a large print. Large print is NLT translation, and I am loving it. Like, I started this um, September the 4th. I was consistent for about maybe three or four days, and I haven't picked it up since then, but I'm going off of what, within those three or four days, I've got to January the 5th, so not like, not like something that I'm like, oh my God, I got to, got to, got to, but I just really wanted to read the Bible chronologically, and I still want to stay on pace with my other Bible too, with my observations and daily. So I did with this out. And so far, I'm like, I'm really liking it. Um, so we will pick that back up. But um, yeah, so um, I, I have been writing prayers in this Bible or this binder more within the last like two and a half weeks than ever. And I love it. And I want it to consistently be like that. The that prayer Bible, the, the reading through the, the one, this one. Praying through the Bible for your kids has been so helpful. Um, I'm going to look to see what other ones that they have. I know um, Charlene from Bloom Biblically has... A handful of those but I'm just I love it I love it I love it I've been writing prayers um, like and I want to increase this step this is an just just I love it I love it 
and other things I want to incorporate it again we're gonna add study because baby girl is still slipping on that component so I'm gonna be a little bit more specific because I'm saying I want to increase my study life but I'm not being intentional about it so I'll pick two days out of the week to do Bible study and I'm gonna say Tuesdays and Thursdays are my days. So we'll see. I'm going to keep track of it for this month, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, Bible study. Bible study time. Bible study time. And so, are those all my goals? Yep, because I'm going to continue to be in my notebook for my daily observations. I did Jeremiah's chapter 7 today. This book is almost done. I have another notebook sitting and ready to go. <clears throat> well, guys, my battery died on me and I had to let it charge. So I'm back. And I think I was about to say that I am planning on diving into this study. Um, I really would like to dive into it today um, because I really want to kind of come back to you guys with the Feast of the Trumpet stuff which starts tomorrow so yeah we'll see how that goes and i don't know if i can jump around to the actual feast of the trumpets i'm just really curious about it and want to be informed and want to share that information with you but i'm diving into this tonight um so that's me studying what's today Today's Tuesday, so this is my study day. <laughs> and then, of course, I'm going to still finish my everything else that I've been working on. And books for reading. I already showed you the the body back and one that I want to finish. And then the Trinity or the, the one about the Trinity um, book. But I'm contemplating. On whether I want to do any like leisure reading from my fiction books I mean like reading maybe a chapter a week or something like that taking it slow but doing something different I don't know we'll see so that is my goals for October um, definitely don't want to allow distraction to to get me again I don't want to allow emotional drainage to get me either I want to stay on fire um, I'm more focused now on still on my continue to build up my relationship and walk with Christ and my wisdom and my knowledge but also helping others with my two boys being at the top of that tier helping others with their walk um, like my other family members and friends so yep so that is my goals for um october um, we're still on football season for my oldest son so i'm still like pretty much every game i have worn a shirt that points to jesus um i'm making that message really really clear um i have this huge box of gospel i think they're called gospel discs like little cards of information about salvation the gospel of god and all that huge box that i got for free i wish i had i would have brung it up here i might show a picture of it on uh the community page but you can go on their website you can get free stuff too to hand out my goal was to hand those out as much as possible i i wish that i could put stuff on people's cards because i would totally do that but you know People are leery about stuff being on their cars as they should be because there's people who do stupid stuff with leaving stuff on people's cars. But like going, putting it in bathrooms, putting it on stands, um, just physically handing them out to them. Just a huge box. So I really want to get to doing that. It was the whole purpose of me having those. And I've, I've had that box for like two months maybe. Um, so yes, continuing to be a walking billboard for the Lord, you know. We take a picture pretty much every game. So somebody's going to see that there's somebody repping Jesus out here. You know what I'm saying? And so, yeah, that is it. Um, 
before we go, this is just quickly short on Sunday. This past Sunday, September 29th, I woke up and I woke up with this kind of like different kind of feeling in my spirit. And the Lord dropped into my spirit the word prepare. And I didn't know specifically what um, that was to be preparing for, but I felt like preparing for something coming. And so um, I took that and I, I did what I could do on Sunday. I literally um, I fasted, prayed. I did communion with my sons and we went over the specifics of communion. We went over um, Bible scripture. I hope they kind of got it, but that's the first time they did communion. I haven't done communion in a very, very long time. So I had ordered um, the pre-made cups with the the crackers in it from christianbookstore.com um after, so i prepared our souls <laughs> prayed over the house and then i went and got um of course the things that happened around 2020 i went and got paper towels and sam's toilet paper and i got food and so that was sunday and now we're having to, we had bad weather, what, bad weather that day. Um, now, today specifically, Iran has started war with Israel. Um, the ports are going on a strike. So I say that to say, you guys, stay prayed up, pray over your house, repent, believe, share the gospel, pray, read the word, um, get as many people on board with their walk with Christ and, um, ask the Lord what stuff that you need specifically. Um, I, you know, I got what I felt like I needed to get. I, I gassed up. Um, I live in Ohio, so I just don't know. I just, I took what he gave me and I went for it. I, I went and got things that I needed to make sure that me and my two kids are okay. Um, and so, yes, we're going to end this in prayer. Um, thank you, Heavenly Father, for this blessed day. Thank you, Lord, for all that you've done. Thank you for being a great Heavenly Father. Thank you for praying for everybody that um, stops on this channel, views this content, pray over their household, pray over their walk with you, their personal walk with you, pray over their mindsets, pray over um, every aspect of their life. Lord, I pray that everybody um, begins to develop the fruits of the Spirit in them and remove any desires of this world and this flesh, uh, move any desires of wanting to be um, indulging in the fears that are stumbling over us. Um, I pray for people's salvation. I pray for repentance. I pray for um, people to turn from their sins and turn to you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. I pray the blood of Jesus over everybody who is hearing this prayer. I pray the blood of Jesus over this video itself. I pray the blood of Jesus over um, the viewers, myself, our atmospheres. Keep us covered in prayer. Keep us covered by the grace of God. Lord, I thank you in the name of Jesus for this day and and the days to come i thank you for dropping in our spirits what you want us to know and how to prepare and for everybody to anoint their households everybody to anoint themselves their cars and um pray i thank you lord um i thank you guys for stopping to my video um sorry that it's super long but we're making up for last month too and um you guys I say it every time, continue to seek the kingdom of God in all his righteousness and all will be added to you. And I will see you guys in another blessed day, Lord willing.